Have you ever wanted to change your body? Have you ever thought about the fact that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit and how we take care of this body shows everyone around us what matters to us most? So yeah, I've been there those years of obesity, those years of living my life um, according to my design and eating whatever I wanted. Well, that that paid highly. I, I paid highly for having a body like that because I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to be on mission. I didn't want to see people. I didn't want to go to parties. I figured everybody would be condemning me what I eat or how I look or anything like that. But you know what? That's not God's way. And so today I want to teach you what are the five steps to to taking back your temple of the Holy Spirit, your body, and making it a body that is actually healthy, it's vibrant, and it's actively sharing the gospel. So let's look at that today with these five steps. I'm a net reader, the biblical nutritionist, and I'm on mission to keep you on mission. And I have many more videos similar to this topic. It's either going to be about the Bible or it's going to be about nutrition. Or it's going to be about you. So I hope you're watching them on YouTube. So let's look at these first steps. Number one, the key to everything I'm going to teach you. You have to recognize real love. People eat for many reasons. And many of the reasons are love, comfort, friendship, um, you name it, because they're bored. They may eat for the fact that they just need a companion. Well, guess what? Food does not have arms to hug you. Food does not have lips to say, oh, you look great today. Food cannot be that companion for you. No. When you are eating for those reasons, you're searching for a deeper love, and that love can only come from our Father in Heaven. So you need to recognize the first step to reclaim in this body as a temple of the Holy Spirit is to understand real love. God loves you. In fact, if you just say those words right now, God loves me, your cells will respond. In fact, your T-cell count goes up. It's amazing. All right, step number one is understand what real love is. Step number two, is understand what real food is. We can't be searching the internet to figure out what to eat. Just go to the grocery store, the farmer's market, or your garden and eat real food. No boxes, no cans, no packages, no directions. Just eat real food. If God made it, he called it good, and he said for you to enjoy it, then eat it. If it's not one of those three things, it's probably a lab experiment. And when any time man alters or tries to copy God's design, we lose. And then our temple is sick and tired. <laughs> All right, real love, real food, and step number three is real hunger. God has put a desire in our body to tell us when we're truly hungry. And guess what? It's always below the neck, because above the neck is our head, and our head says, ooh, that cake looks good, that donut looks good. I think I'll have a second sub sandwich. I think I'll have some chips. Maybe I'll just eat the whole bowl of chips. That's our head talking. It's not our stomach. Our stomach is saying, are you kidding? We're full. So learning how to understand true hunger is a critical step for understanding how to take care of your body. Step number four is real satisfied. So we eat when we're hungry, we eat real food, but then we stop when we're satisfied. And satisfied is never to the point of needing to unbuckle your, your jeans or needing to lie down because you're miserable because you overate or you, you're belching all the time like you're still in college. That's not satisfied. Satisfied is, oh, and it's sometimes it's when you have your fork in the air ready to go in your mouth and you realize, oh, I'm full or I'm satisfied, I really don't need this extra bite. There is no rule in scripture that says you have to clean your plate. That was something parents made up for whatever reason, I don't know. You don't have to clean your plate. So realize, okay, let's review. Real love, when you recognize God is the one who loves you and he's the one who wants to desire the time with you, you don't need to go to food for love. Real food, let's eat the real stuff, not the fake, the imitation, the lab experiments. Real hunger, that tells us when we're truly hungry and not just eating because of emotional issues. Really satisfied, recognizing, wow, I, I probably didn't need to eat all of that. And when you stop when you're satisfied, it will naturally bring you down to the weight you're supposed to be at. All right, so we've covered a lot. The last one is a real commitment. Make a commitment to knowing that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit and how you eat 
how you take care of this body. It tells everyone around you what's important to you. It was amazing when I got my eating under control, my marriage got better. When I got my eating under control, I felt like a better parent because I had the peace and the patience to deal with my kids. When I was eating out of control, I could care less and I, I was angry and I was just so moody and depressed. It was awful and it was all because of the foods I was eating and why I was eating. So realize when you make a commitment to this, it's not a commitment for a three-week diet or a I'm going to do this for 40 days or some biblical number like that. It's a commitment for the rest of your life because God's love isn't going to change. His real food's not going to change. The, his hunger signals that he's given in you that he's built in your body, they don't change. You can, you can mask them by overeating all the time, and it may take you a while to learn them. You can be satisfied, and you can also have a real commitment. So, you know, um, <laughs> God gave us desserts. He gave us times to celebrate but not with every meal. <laughs> we don't need dessert at every meal. We just need to recognize the goodness in God's foods and what he gave us. So commit to eating real food with real hunger, recognizing real satisfaction, all under the understanding of God's amazing love for you. And it's real. So this will keep us off that cycle like the Israelites. You know, God blessed, they were happy, they got distracted, they started crying. God answers, God blesses, you know, that's not a cycle we should be living in because every time we get out of God's will, we can fall into the pit of depression, fall into the pit of food addictions. So let's commit to making this a real part of our life. And now that you can divert that wasted energy that you've spent on all those miserable days of not feeling good, you can be more attentive to what God's called you to do. You can have the energy to run. You can have the energy to bike. You can have the energy to share the gospel around the world. Imagine the possibilities. So people are going to ask you, well, how come you don't get sick as much as everyone else? Or how come you look so young and so beautiful when you start following these five steps? And you know what your answer is? It's not, oh, hey, I found a net reader, the biblical nutritionist. No, it's not that. It's not the Treasures of Healthy Living Bible Study. Nope, it's not that either. And those are good resources, not, not knocking that. But the real truth is, you could just say, you know what? I started looking at God's word as the greatest health plan ever written, and I've been following it ever since, and God's word has the truth. And it's not going to change in five years like every diet plan out there. Now you have more opportunities to share with people, not a diet, but to share with them the Lord. Annette Reader, the Biblical Nutritionist, if you enjoy this as much as I've enjoyed sharing with you, please like this video, please subscribe to this, this channel, share it with your friends. We have a gospel to get out to the nation and it's gonna take our health to do it. So please share this video, like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I desire to teach you so that you can teach others and we can make a difference. Annette Reader, the Biblical Nutritionist, I'm on mission to keep you on mission. And hey, check out our Facebook page if you want to catch things live.